dandelion. Oh, wish, he said, come true. Let this world be filled with music. A girl made her wish too. And magically their stems transformed to whistles all aglow. And both the children drew in breath and both began to blow. The girl squeezed air out of her lungs and pushed it through her throat. Let's play a game, she said, to see who blows the loudest note. <gasps> the notes they played did not change pitch, but played a single tone. It's sad, the boy said to the girl, for notes to be alone. We'll measure out some bamboo shoots, we'll cut them short and long. And there'll be other notes to play a high and low pitch song. We'll build them up in steady steps, then tie them up with string and blow our breath from lungs through pipes to hear each new note sing. Well, well, called out the wide-eyed girl. Well, well, what do you know? The shortest pipes play very high, the longest very low. If only we could blow the air with much more force and speed. I think a giant robot's lungs may be the thing we need to help the air to find its sound, to help the music play, to push the air through bigger pipes and guide it on its way. And then they met a clever man with very clever tools who did some clever thinking, for he knew the secret rules. Blowers work just like your lungs. They push the air, you see, and pallets are the things to stop pipes playing randomly. As trackers pull down pallets, the levers, they help too. The young boy said, let's build more pipes for air to travel through. Imagine if 6,000 pipes were built up all around. 6,000 pipes, the young girl said. Who could control that sound? An octopus has many arms, but even he can't teach us how to operate them all when they're beyond our reach. And with so many moving parts, oh dear, what can we do? With only two arms and two legs, how can we guide air through? Hmm, a keyboard played by fingers and pedals pressed by feet. I think, the young man said, will make our music sound complete. I know some men in Germany. Their workshop is in Bonn. They'll help us build an organ we can play our music on. We'll find the right materials of finest wood and tin, then shape the pipes in different ways, and music will begin. They made short pipes, tall pipes, thin pipes, fat pipes. Square pipes, round pipes. Don't you like my hat pipes? Wooden pipes, trumpet pipes, gathered in a stack pipes. Sticking out their tongue pipes. Watch me lean right back pipes. See me peep around pipes. And some, well, just plain weird pipes. <laughs> There were pipes as small as fingers and pipes big as a bus. The longest came by narrow boat. You should have seen the fuss. 32 feet long it lay stretched out upon a boat. A bass pipe with a mighty throat to boom the lowest note. The clever man 
The boy and girl watch pipes move into place. The wonder of the organ put a smile upon each face. So, side by side and top to toe, 6,000 pipes all stood, some made of shining metal and some made of finest wood. Mechanical and musical and marvellous and grand. The magic of the organ is not hard to understand. Remember this when listening to the wonder of each note. The blowers work just like your lungs. Each pipe sings like your throat. Thank <laughs> you.